Uh, it has been some years that many of us have loved our rugby but haven't quite achieved the levels of excellence on a consistent basis that we're all hoping for. So I spoke to Bill about it and, uh, and have spoken to Tony Abbott about it. Bill said he wants to create a centre of excellence for Australian rugby that focuses not just on the elite level of rugby but also on the challenge of having the very best teams at the Olympics in rugby sevens for men's and women's rugby and also with a focus on indigenous rugby. There is, uh, and I said, how much did it cost? And he said, we're looking for $25 million. Well, we haven't got $25 million, but I'm prepared to announce tonight we're committing $10 million. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, should, uh, should Joe uh, and his colleagues, and of course Tony Abbott, have the great fortune to form a government after the election in uh, three weeks' time, that the New South Wales government will match the commitment. Uh, and the, so the $10 million commitment will become a $20 million commitment, uh, courtesy of the Federal Coalition and the New South Wales Coalition. Yes, it's a great day for Australian rugby, it's a great day for international rugby, rugby in the region, but also for the whole community that's going to benefit from the development that's happening here. It's a wonderful thing for the national game at the elite level in terms of potentially Wallabies training here, um, men's and women's sevens teams, indigenous teams, visiting and touring teams, but it's also a great day for the local community. Everyone from the Eastwood Rugby Club who will have world-class facilities, you know, to the local community that can get access to after-day care, child care, medical centres, you know, elite training centres, um, high-performance gymnasium. So, look, it's going to have a very wide-ranging influence at a local level and at a national rugby level. Strategically, the long-term growth and participation is the key for the game, and that growth is going to come largely out of women in rugby and also in sevens rugby. Um, and we're fortunate enough for men's and women's seven now to be on the agenda for the Olympics in 2016 and 2020. So our elite sevens teams will form a base here, as will our indigenous sevens. So the Lord Lloyd McDermott program is a wonderful development opportunity for young indigenous kids, not only from a rugby perspective, but also in terms of you know, developing life skills for them and career opportunities. So sevens, women, um, the entire participation piece, very important now that we'll have this development centre out here.